Hi. I'm Bobby. I am a robot cat. I do feel as though we need some laughter. I present to you, the anti-Katie Joy community if this were a wildlife documentary. I have seen many things on my treks across both safari, and plain. Never have I discovered such rare and terrifying creatures as I have in this dense and dark land known as the Internet. Not long after I arrived, I managed to catch a glimpse of this elusive creature, peeking out from the shadows, and ever watching. This is the AEKC translating Metal Owl. She is quite a sight. She does not emerge often. However, to cross one can be quite risky. If you do not make eye contact, she shall simply let you pass by, creating your content as if she is not even there. However, throw a stone at her and she shall crash directly, into your glass home. She can often be heard screeching, facts and evidence, well into the night. As I moved through the flowers and bush, I spotted quite a sight. The interesting, hey everybody. This arachnid is quite docile. She often is accused of collecting Amazon items and spending entirely too much time letting everyone know she is waiting for chat to load. Overall, she was somewhat uneventful. She appears to keep a steadfast schedule. Appearing at the same time each evening. Five days per week. Then sinking back into the brush. Among my discoveries the very same day, I nearly stepped atop a maned mantis. He flailed his little pinches wildly at me. He appeared to have a lot to say. Yet, none of it made any sense to me. He was quite the animated little chap. This land is, foreign to me in language. Yet, I am certain he said he was an atheist. Never mind. The maned mantis is known to support its ecosystem with GoFundMes. And, he has a diet based solely on cheap bourbons. Moving on. In sunnier regions, I discovered the rather confused little red squirrel. It had no idea what the fuck was going on. Nor how it got here. Never mind. Also in within the sunnier regions, I was fortunate to encounter the colorful Dotty Macaw. She is quite the playful fowl. However, she occasionally spends far too much of her time foraging amongst the shady, shady palm tree, collecting information and regurgitating it as her primary diet. Other wildlife are often at odd with whether or not to welcome the Dotty Macaw into their circles. Yet, she appears to settle quite nicely into specific environments. As night fell, I took a bit of a cat nap. Only to wake to the disturbing and electric sounds of an extraterrestrial vessel. From the ship, a boisterous alien life form emerged. She spoke some form of Northern Region American English. And, between ramblings of planets and mention of some random YouTuber named Tira, she appeared to be relatively harmless. Before she returned to what she called Exile Island, she left me with etched words on a nearby stone that read, Own thy nasty. Interesting. Not long after this, as the sun was rising above the prairies, I caught a glimpse of the demasculated unicat. He was a tweaky little devil. He boasts an ear bleeding, high pitched call and seemed rather confused. He spent the better part of their morning chasing the maned mantis across the plains. Never quite catching the balding insect, yet trying nonetheless. He surrounded himself with his group, scientifically titled, Unifam. So, upon observation it would appear he is quite a social creature requiring many hours of encouragement and rallying from his followers. Quite suddenly, the unicat was startled by the sound of a large beast. Their smell reached me long before the sight of it. It barreled upon the horizon screeching obscenely. My god, I've spotted an overreacting sensitive Sally. A part of the man-child swinous category of hogs. He paused momentarily to face me. I stood my ground as he hurled insults and threats to reach out to my mum, third grade teacher, and employer of my first job. He then turned his sights on a flock of women, targeting mostly those that were his senior. Upon further observations, I realized that his outward appearance is merely a defense mechanism. 
He is not quite too lethal as he would like those he feels threatened by to believe. Overall, he is the smoke screen of the animal kingdom. I was nevertheless overwhelmed with the feeling that he would remain rather docile so long as we never call out his bad behavior. I left him to his work of rooting for hot pockets. And finally, as my excursion reached its end. The female pattern trauma vulture. This could have been the worst sight I've encountered in all of my years of studying the wildlife of the YouTube landscape. She appeared to be even more wiry than the unicat. Her eyes darting back and forth as she circled the trauma of her victims. This bird can spot the emotional damage of others from many miles. Yet, she is also a cruel and unusual hunter. She appears to make her presence seem less threatening by posing as a reporter. She collects the traumatic stories from her future meal. Before she devours them, she grasps them in her talons and takes them to flight. Flaunting her knowledge of their past issues for all the world to see. She then opens her claws and drops them squarely to their demise. Before quickly moving on to the next. My dear viewers, I hope you enjoyed my tales of travel today. These excursions are meant for professional woodsmen. Such as myself. Do not approach any YouTube creature, should you encounter one. Unless you have taken the time to fully observe their patterns and behaviors. Until next time. Fellow adventurers. Cheers.